I really love basil. I think it probably is my favourite herb and I like loads of it to cook with all year round. The problem is in the UK you can sometimes get away with it growing outside in a hot summer but more often it just sulks and doesn't do very well at all. So I cheat. What I do is I buy these little pots of herbs in the supermarket and they cost about 120. And in this pot, which is maybe a nine centimetre pot, a tiny, tiny pot, I've got about, about 50 little plants. Now, if I kept them like this and I just picked them on the windowsill, that would probably die within the week. I can never manage to keep them like that because they're so crammed in. They don't have enough light. They don't often get enough moisture and they get very mouldy and they just don't do well at all. So what I do is I just tip out the pot and then I break up the clump so they have the space which is what they need so I maybe take two or three little plants and I just pop them into this pot sometimes I have two sometimes I have one sometimes I have four just how they break off really and I'm pot potting it into a 20 centimeter diameter pot and I will put probably three clumps in this there's another little clump um, there just pop them in like that and I obviously wouldn't leave them out in the sunshine. There's one single big plant straight away because they will have a shock when they transplant. Obviously, there some of the roots will be damaged. And so I'll put them in an, a slightly shady place. I'll mist them over with water possibly. And if they're just too leggy, I might just chop off a few leaves. Sometimes I just support them a bit with a little cane if I think they need it. But so from that pot of about 40, you see, or 40, 50, I can pot maybe six, seven, eight pots like this. I might put some in the polytunnel as well. And they will grow on on my windowsill pretty well. And you, I mean, these I potted up maybe three weeks ago and you see how they've gone into lovely lush plants. And I might do this maybe three times a year, that's all. And that way I have lovely loads of basil from January to December. And there's something about basil that when you eat it, not only does it taste really delicious, but you feel like it's doing you good. And I checked it out on Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a scientific search engine. And actually there's quite a lot of experiments with basil and they say it increases your immune system, which many herbs and plants do. They say it's wonderful for oral and, um, oral and skin health. I hope you notice my skin's looking lovely after all my basil. And also it is very good for your mental mental alertness. So not only does it taste good, but it's actually doing you good. So there, I've got all that, those plants left to pot on. And then the other thing is, what, what do I do with basil? Obviously pesto is the number one thing. Basil is brilliant in pesto. I mean, I make pesto, I have many different herbs, but obviously a lot with basil. And I'll put it maybe on pasta. I'll put it on arborio rice and have that either hot or cold. If I'm making a thick winter soup, a lovely big, big blob of pesto and it brings a sort of spring to a winter's day, which is really nice. Um, and it's great just cut leaves into salads. I use it a lot like that. And obviously the cuprese salad with the tomatoes, mozzarella, and basil is one of the finest dishes you can make. So there we are, a bit of Italy in England, and so nice it is too.